All right, Shalom on my hymn. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect. This teaching is word in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get into a lesson on how uh, America, which is Babylon great in the scriptures, is going to go out bad, man. You know, the Lord have a plan for this place. And we're seeing, you know, the very pillars, the very thing that upheld it in the past time, you know, just everything that this place pour in these people to take pride in is being taken away, man. That ultimate is who is gonna be defenseless, surrounded, and stoned to death, man. You know, stripped naked and stoned to death. Via World War Three. But it's a series of plays that's gonna take place. Before this downfall, and we in the midst of them now, man. See how about you know, Shai? It's about to glorify his name upon the planet Earth. Matter of fact, let's get this in the book of uh, St. John, the 12th chapter, in the 28th verse. And it reads, Father, glorify thy name. Then came there a voice from heaven, saying, I have more glorified and will glorify it again. So, we in that time now, we how about Shimei Oshai, he's about to glorify his name. How did he do that first time? That name, Yahweh, was well known throughout the planet Earth. What event caused that thing to grow? Egypt, let's get it. Let's get that in the book of Joshua chapter 9. In verse 9, it reads, And they said unto him from a very far country, Thy servants are come because of the name of the Lord, thy power. See? As you can see, they were coming on. Uh, when you jump up, said they were trying to make a league with them. You know? But that thing was, was because of, you know, the Lord caused prosperity. And everybody would love each other. He says, He says, For we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. And guess what? That event, you know, which it was a series of events through a span of time to take place. They crippled the empire, man. You know? <clears throat> but the Lord put his name on it before it took place. The Lord took the very pillars, pillars that was going to keep Egypt strong, you know. Uh, uh, and to, to continue such as taking, you know, the, uh, you know, the Lord had the crops to be destroyed. You know, the, the cattle to die. It, it took away the firstborn. That 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 crippled that empire, man. As well as Zur Pharaoh's army, your defense. <laughs> and uh he already took your, your money too, because he gave it to the caused you to give it to the children of Israel. That's why it talks about that in Genesis the fifteenth chapter, coming out with a great substance. Took his money, killed his army, his firstborn. The crops, the cattle. How much more with this place, man? Where it was the name, Lord Yahweh. By his arm, his, his, his mighty arm and hand, Yahweh shot. They brought forth those plagues, man. And as you can see back then, that thing grew. So this is why you don't think the Lord, this is the same uh, formula the Lord is going to use in this time. We're going to spice it up a bit 
by the way of World War Three. Matter of fact, let's get that in the book. Because guess what? This is also Egypt. This is Egypt. Egypt was Egypt was also an, an example. Even though that's an actual event. It's even talked about today. You know? It's even talked about today. There's documentaries on it. And they always try to come up with a scientific form of why these things took place and these theories, this event that caused this, that caused it, 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 so it was not it was the Lord that brought it forth man. it went like Moses shot from the hip on it he was right on everything no it was it was from the, it was divine from divine uh, inspiration man. but how much more this Egypt you know it talks about that um in Jeremiah the 16th chapter you know, there shall no more say the Lord lived that shall be brought to the land of Egypt, but the children of Israel that shall be brought up from the land of the north. Because that's going to be the, that's like that last Egypt. Which is over here in the west. Let's get this in the book of 2nd Exodus 15. And uh, matter of fact, I'll start at 10. It reads, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I would not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. And that's, that Egypt is the sun here in America. The place of our captivity. That's what it represents. You know, our captivity. Because Egypt goes back to, uh, I believe, double straits. You know, but it represents our captivity. And it was prophecy. It was prophecy. To, uh, for Egypt, for us to come into Egypt in the, in the latter times. When you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. And that's that spiritual Egypt, which is here in America. Even on a physical sense, it's, even on a geological sense, it's like Egypt, such as the Nile River, and it uh, goes all the way through the land of Egypt, so same as the Mississippi River and the Babylon. 30% of that river land is on the, on the east of the river, and seven, the rest is on, on the west of it. Same as uh, in America. It's a city of Memphis on that Nile. Of Memphis, Tennessee. And there's a pyramid there, man. Come on, man. So the Lord left clues to let you know this is this is that Egypt. This is that land of Egypt. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm. And, and that's gonna, yeah, I was saying he's gonna make this how he's gonna make his grand uh, uh appearance. Talks about he's going to spread his rings over Brazil. See, America is the main event here at Babylon the Great. Yeah, other things are happening across the planet Earth, of course. But America is the, is the main course. This is the venue the Lord have chosen to show his power. See, when the smoke clearing the dust settles, you're going to look back and see the memorial which is this place, being that desert. That's why it's also being compared to Sodom and Gomorrah, because Sodom and Gomorrah is a, pretty much a land of sulfur. When you go into a land of high concentrated sulfur, you know? They said this, when you go into a, you know, research, they say, yeah, this, this, what else could this be with all this, we got sulfur balls everywhere. That was that fire and brimstone, man. So how much more this place when they're distressing? Then that technology has increased. The, you know, the, 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 we got thermonuclear missiles. As well as the chariots. And this place is going to... this, and, and, and that's, and this, that's the icing on the cake. This is the Lord. That's going to be the Lord. Ultimately, just putting this place out of his misery. 
Let's continue on. It says, uh, it says, but I will bring thee with a mighty hand and stretch our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. See? So this place is going to be smitten with plagues. Matter of fact, because talk about them plagues in Egypt. Yeah. And guess what? Y'all by smell I got the added more plagues to Egypt. You know? The teeth of wild beasts, these mechanical creatures. You got the 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 drones. Yeah, mechanical dogs. That's part of the wild beasts. As well as other creatures that have not been seen, the Lord have created. There's things on earth that's in the cut for this the time of destruction, man. Especially here in Babylon. You know, this is the pride, this place. You know, this place puts all this wickedness. You know, the hammer of the earth. We got to go by the policy. Everybody speaking English. You know, democracy, all that shit. That's a, that's, when you see a McDonald's, it show you the influence of America is there. So now the Lord's going to cut all these places. Everything's going to come to an end. Man. So this is the book of Psalm 89 and verse, verse 23. The reason I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. See, the Lord said he's going to beat down his foes. Before his face, and that's what the Lord is showing. We we actually seeing the downfall of our enemies, man. This man, his economic, you know, structure is failing. Which is he's doing his own purpose, whatever you can say. This devil's doing it to bring for, but it's still at the end of the day, it's still the Lord. Because the devices that are wicked is going to come tonight. The Lord put in their thoughts to do that stupid shit. Crash the money. Your money on the. Your face on the money, you going to dump it. Let's show you how crazy this devil is. You know? But those players are going to come in a series of ways. Even um, the, citizens, the citizens of America, uh, you know, protesting, talks about how they should not regard their kings nor princes. That's, that's part of plague. You ain't got to control all the people of Talking about the, how the sea and the way is roaring, the people being stirred up. These are the different symptoms to the end of an empire. You got the LG, you got problem out of all this shit. You got inflation, gas high, all this shit high. You bad them keep your head above water, but you got to acknowledge fucking pride, man. Yeah, this shit finna go out horrible, man, and rightfully so. And it's gonna be for the world to see, man. Guess what? You ain't get. You don't get worried. You gonna feel it when that earthquake hit. You gonna see it when you see that smoke. You know when you across the pond, looking at the smoke of America, man. You gonna feel it when that earthquake shape. But even before that, you seeing it now, just looking on the TV. It's a. It's a joke, man. This place is coming down. Matter of fact. Before I go back to Sick Ashes 15. I read this, Isaiah 47 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. And this is a commandment of the Lord. This is what we're seeing on the planet Earth. That that aura from just look at it from the fabulous 50s until now. You know, the height of America after World War II. You know, this devil came out on top, pretty much had things lined up. And, and that was like the standard of living. You had, uh, you know, people wanted to be like, um, you know, wanted to go to America, be like them, dress like them, man, talk English. To what you see today, man. You know this nasty, decrepit 
place. Just like an old horse. Yes, she was bad at the beginning, but now, you know, you got 200,000 200, miles on that engine. He ain't gonna run this thing. He ain't gonna pick. He ain't gonna. He ain't gonna get off the line like he used to. Uh, whatever you know. Especially having been kept. You know that's why you got this. This uh, going to the depth clock. Having been kept up. No maintenance on it. You going to the infrastructure. The infrastructure is is, is down. This is the Lord plaguing this place, man. So uh, ain't no way you can pick up the scraps. That's just like when you condemn a house. All the, the only step you can do, you can't go and put some sheetrock up and try to make shit right. You no, know, the only thing you can do now is knock it down. And that's what the Lord, he have condemned this house, the house of Edom. You know? And it's going to be on display by the way of the Lord destroying America. So going back to 2 Edges 15, verse uh, 11 again it reads but I will bring them with a mighty hand and express our arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and would destroy all the land thereof see just show you that's I ain't talking about just no Egypt with the, 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 the fucking arrows yeah it's from like some shit there you, it show you how far gone how, how, how the Lord dealt with, my dip, dealt with those Egyptians the actual Egyptians ain't even in Egypt. That's how bad the Lord did it, man. But it, the land is still there, you know? But the point where the Lord had played them to where now they're, they're not they're insignificant. They don't have that influence, that power they once did, you know? They don't call the side. Egypt ain't got no say so. And like I said, even the actual Egyptians are not even in their land. So how much more now Babylon agree America and Esau? It's prophesied Esau is not it's not gonna to return to his own land. It talks about how the nation's gonna to return to his grave and but he's gonna be left as a bloody garment that gotta be burned up. You know? But the point is what how this place is gonna go out bad. Just like how Egypt suffered all those plagues, series of plagues. America's going through the same process, but the Lord has intensified it. And it's going to be topped off by the way of the land, the whole land being destroyed. So, yeah, I can, I just hope we're edified. And I can give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Ba'asham, I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders and great millstone. I'd like to say shalom to the elect that teach the word in all truth, faith, and sincerity. Shalom.